Hey everyone, if you're going to buy a bow this year, it's really helpful to know what the different bow specifications mean. So in this video, we're going to go through them all. And if you don't want to watch this video, you absolutely don't have to because you can go right to an archery shop, ask them any question, they'll go through all the different bow options out there, tell you what the specs mean, answer all your questions, and you can save some time. But if you want to know right now, continue watching this video and we'll answer your questions for you. All right, so. To start off, we're going to go over the parts of the bow just so we're all starting on the same page. Starting at the top, right here on this compound bow, this is the cam right here, this area. Right here we have a limb, and what attaches the cam to the limb is the axle. That'll come up later uh, as we go over the specifications. Right here we have our limb bolt, and this is on a compound bow you spin this to adjust the draw weight. This long section right here, it can be made of aluminum or carbon, uh, that is called the riser. So this entire long section right there is the riser. Right in here we have the sight window and the arrow shelf. Right here is the sight, the arrow rest, those are accessories that get bolted onto the bow. Right here we have the bow string so and right here with the cables the easy way to tell the difference between them is the bowstring is the part that you pull back the cables stay here uh, they work in conjunction with the cams right here you have a cable guard and basically that just moves the cables out of the way of the bowstring this is a peep sight uh, this is a right here we have a string stop bow grip all right that's pretty much everything you need to know there's a stabilizer here. It's not necessary if you're just getting started. As you progress, you can add a stabilizer, maybe even a rear stabilizer. And what those do is it just helps you aim a little steadier. All right, so those are the parts of the bow, the main ones at least that you'll need to know for this video. All right, so when you're looking at a manufacturer's website or on the tag of a bow in an archery shop, you'll see things like ATA, IBO, FPS, um, ATA again, um, brace height, draw length, draw weight. Those are all bow specifications and what they'll do is they'll help you compare different bows and kind of find uh, which bow models are going to be probably right for you. Alright, so to start off we're going to start off with arrow speed. Arrow speed is a big one. Um, it sells bows. People are really drawn to it. So we're, we'll start there. Bow speed, as far as bows go, is measured in two main ways. You have IBO, which stands for International Bow Hunting Organization, and you have ATA, Archery Trade Association. And what these are, they are different ways of measuring bows consistently um, across the board. So one bow uh, is measured with IBO, another bow is measured with IBO. You can kind of compare those numbers because they're shot with the same weight arrow, same draw weight, same general parameters so the numbers are comparable and same with ata but bow speed is measured in feet per second um, and really we're measuring arrow speed i should say arrow speed is measured in feet per second and this can help you kind of pick a bow because uh if you want a bow that's faster something that's close to like 350 per 350 feet per second that'd be a pretty fast bow um, let's say you have a shorter draw length and you want a bow that's faster to help make up for that shorter draw length. You can kind of look through and see which bows are shooting faster than, than others. But in general, for my personal preference, I don't pay attention to bow speed too much when I'm choosing a bow. For me, it's a lot more about uh, how the bow fits and feels to me. So continuing on in bow specs. ATA will come up again, but an ATA in the this instance means axle to axle. So from axle to axle, and that's how bow length is measured for compound bows. So this bow that I'm holding right here is 33 inches axle to axle, 33 inch ATA. So from here to here, it's 33 inches. And now for bow hunting, most of your bow hunting bows are going to be 28, 33, 34, 35 inch axle to axle. Your target bow is going to be 38 inch, 48 inch axle to axle. Some of them will even be 35 or 36 inches. All right, so that's axle to axle. 
now that you know what that means, let's continue on to brace height. That's another common specification you'll see. Brace height is the measurement from right here, the deepest part of the grip, to the bowstring. That's important because a longer brace height is usually more forgiving uh, because it, the arrow is leaving the bow sooner, but a longer brace height also means the bow is usually slower. <laughs> so a longer brace height is slower but more forgiving. Shorter brace height is going to be faster but maybe a little more critical. So again, it's all about finding that happy medium, what's going to work best for you. Now I've mentioned draw length a few times already. Now draw length is how far back you're pulling the bow. So a shorter person is gonna have a shorter draw length, a taller person is gonna have a longer draw length. And how we measure it in archery is we measure at full draw, so if this bow is pulled back all the way, it would be from the deepest part of the grip to the apex of the bowstring, plus an inch and three quarters would give you the draw length. You can approximate your draw length by measuring your wingspan and dividing by two and a half. Uh, that'll give you about where your draw length is so you can kind of see which bows would fit you. But the best way, of course, is to go to an archery shop and have them measure your draw length, uh, your true draw length, and figure it all out for you. And then you can figure out what bows are gonna fit you the best. Draw weight is the amount of effort or force required to pull back a bow. It's measured in pounds. So like a 60 pound bow, you're gonna pull back 60 pounds. And then with compound bows, you also have lead off. So you're gonna pull back 60 pounds and at a certain point, the cams are gonna roll over and you'll feel it let off and it's gonna be very easy to hold. Compound bows will come in uh, different amounts of let off, 90%, 80%, 70%, 65%. Those are some of the common uh, amounts of let off you'll see. On the higher end, that 80, 90% let off, uh, there's a pretty high let off. So you're not gonna be holding a lot of dry weight back. A lot of bow hunters like that because you might be at full draw for a minute or more waiting for the right shot opportunity. Target archers tend to like less uh, let off. So more, they're gonna be holding more weight because that helps them aim steadier and get off a crisper shot. All right, so now that you know all about both specifications. It'll help you at least speak the archery language a little bit better. You'll know what people are talking about. You can go to an archery shop, speak the same language as the bow technician that you're working with to buy your bow, and you can find the one that's right for you. The best way to do it, of course, go to an archery shop, shoot a bunch of bows, choose one that feels the best for you. Scott with Bowhunting360. We'll see you all in the next video.